Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a ban and a kick command. So in the video description there will be a github repository where you can clone this file as well as our very basic command handler. With that said, we're going to import that command handler. We're going to create a constant, call it command, and set it equal to require command. We're then going to listen to a ban command. We're then going to destructure a member and the mentions from the message. And we want to say if member dot has permission admin or member dot has permission ban member. So these are the two permission nodes and I got these. If you go to the Discord JS documentation, you can type in permission. You can click on permissions and scrolling down, you see the different flags here. And this is actually administrator, not admin. I believe admin still works, but just to be uh, correct here, we can paste in administrator and then we see band members. Oh, I forgot there's an S here. So it's always important to actually read the documentation. So obviously you can go to Discord JS and find this just like I did. These are all the different permissions that we can check for. So here is where we're going to actually perform the logic to ban the member. But first we're going to want to say message.channel.send. We're going to use a string literal. We're then gonna have two arrows here with an at symbol we're going to insert in member.id. We'll then say, you do not have permission to use this command. Inside here, we can then say console.log uh, works. So if we save this and we go to our bot here, we can run it with node index.js. We see the client is ready. Going into Discord, we see testing. We can run exclamation point ban, and it says works in the chat. Obviously we have access to those permissions. So to test this right here, we can move this outside the else statement. So this will be sent no matter what. If we restart our bot and we write exclamation point ban, it'll then say you do not have permission to use this command and it'll tag us right here. So that's working. We can delete these messages real quick. So we can move this back into the else statement. We can get rid of this console log. And we then want to get the target. So we can say constant target equals mentions dot users dot first. And we can say console.log target. So we can save this, and if we restart our bot, I then have a dummy account inside the server. So we can edit the testing channel here. We can go to permissions, and I'm going to give the dummy account access to this channel here. So we can go to read messages is true, save changes, and now we see it right here. If we're using a public channel, you don't have to do that, but I'm in a private testing channel here. And one thing to keep in mind is that Whenever you're kicking or banning a member, they cannot have the same or better permissions than the bot does. So for example, I can't right click on this. If we move the console out of the way, I can't right click on this and give them the owner rank because then it'll give a permission error because they're the same rank. So we have to keep it as a default user, but I just manually give them access. We can write exclamation point ban. And if we just do that, looking in our console, we see undefined exclamation point ban at dummy account we then see this user object. However, this user object, we can actually ban or kick them. So we just need to get this to get the ID so we can then get a Discord member object. However, the first thing we want to do before that is we want to say if target, we then want to ban them here. Otherwise, this means that they did not tag someone as you, we saw here, we see undefined. And that's when whenever we ran exclamation point ban without tagging someone, we can then say message.channel.send backticks we're going to at the user again using member.id and we'll say, please specify someone to ban. Now under target, we're going to say constant target member equals message.guild.members.cache.get and we're gonna pass in target.id. We can then say target member.ban and then message.channel.send backticks and we're actually duplicating this code a lot. So above this entire if statement, I'm going to create a constant called tag and we can just add in the at right in here. So member.id, we can then insert tag to, into right here and then um, this message as well. And then this message as well. So tag that user has been banned. So if we save this and we restart our bot, Going into Discord, we see the dummy account is still there. Exclamation point ban. Please specify someone to ban. Exclamation point ban at dummy account. And we see that they actually left and it says that the user had been banned. 
So that seems to work. If we go into our server settings and we go into bands, we see them right here. So we can revoke that ban. I'm going to invite them back and I'm going to show you how we can quickly change this into an actual kick command. Okay, so the user is back. I'm going to stop the bot. Going back, we can essentially just copy this code here and then we're going to make this new command kick. The permission instead of band members will be kick members. We're going to say this user has been kicked. It will say, please specify someone to kick. And then right here, instead of target member ban, we can simply say target member kick. So if we save this and we start a bot again, we can run exclamation point kick. It'll say, please specify someone to kick. Exclamation point kick at dummy account. And they've left the discord. If we go into our server settings under bands, they're not here because they weren't technically banned. They were just kicked. And so that is how you're going to create a ban command as well as a kick command using Discord JS. Thanks for watching this Discord JS tutorial. If you want to learn more about Discord JS, consider clicking on the playlist you see on your screen now. If you need help, feel free to leave a comment or ask in the Warnoff Keys Discord, which can be found in the video description.